The way this one got underway as the first couple innings played out, are you just thinking, here we go again? Yeah, I mean, a little bit. Obviously, both, both teams... I mean, I think the offense speaks for itself, and both both sides are, you know, swinging it really well up and down. So, um, you know, just trying to limit damage as much as he can. And uh, thought we did a good job there, obviously, in the middle innings, and then the back back end of of slowing them down finally a little bit. You mentioned the middle innings. Not a lot of guys had success against this offense. What did you think of the job of Nestor Cortez Jr.? Um, more of what we've seen he's you know picked us up a lot in some big spots and uh you know get us through the middle innings there you know where we're you know trying to kind of piece it together a little bit trying to stay away from some guys um you know to give us the kind of length that he did not to have to go to all our back end guys there was big um and then tommy being real efficient uh, in a four-out situation was huge, but uh, you know that was that was big to slow them down there in the middle. Uh, you know, helped win us the game. Hanley's changeup played well again tonight, as it has all season long. What makes that pitch in particular so effective for him? Well, you know, I mean, obviously he's mid upper 90s with his fastball, and and just the arm speed on the changeup is is. <clears throat> special um, you know it, it's it's the exact same arm speed and and more often than not especially when he's going really well like last night tonight it, you know almost from the side it almost looks like a slider because there's so much depth to it and uh, you know he's 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 had it working in this series I mean and, and tonight to be as fish efficient as he was when we you know, really wanted to use them there for the four outs if we could, um, was big. Didi Gregorius with eight hits over the last two days. Have you noticed anything different about his approach at the plate that's led to that success? Um, I mean, he's he's using the entire field. I mean, that's, you know, you look at all his hits now, this last couple of days, and I mean, it's with authority from line to line. Um, but I just think he's getting on really good balance and, and, and getting off his A swing um, a lot. Uh, and when he does that, he, he gets, you know, he can get as hot as anyone. And uh, it's good to see him swinging like that right now because it's been huge for us these last two days. Is Encarnacion okay? We'll see. I mean, you know, it kind of limped around the bases. Um, took a while to get back in the box there. Um, so we'll just kind of watch it. Uh, hopefully it's, you know, nothing more than just fouling it off his foot. But we'll see how he's doing. What about the Parrot? I don't know. I don't know. The struggles that your rotation had this series, how much is that is support pitches or what the Twins are doing right now? I, I think it's a combination, you know. Um, you know, I think, you know, similar to us, they do a really good job of making you come into the strike zone. And, you know, we had a hard time getting them to swing at, at pitches you know, even when we had success kind of going on to off, they were they were pretty patient, and and they have guys that when you make a mistake, you know, don't just get hits, they hit it out of the ballpark. So, um, you know, I think it's a combination. Um, you know, we're capable of, of executing, and when we do, you know, whoever the lineup is, those guys, we're we're capable of of getting through it. You just described the series. Hitterish. <laughs> <laughs> is, is this a series that when you're looking in planning for the playoffs you can take something from and, and use? Um, I mean, I look at it as we're in late July and hopefully we always take something that we can use and hopefully we're always, you know, learning from a series or a team we're playing. Um, you know whether we play re really well whether we have struggles in areas hopefully it's it's all stuff that we process and learn from and grow from and and helps us down the road in matchups or whatever it might be so um i'd like to think yes cortez has been called up eight times this year uh, there's some guys that can handle that better than others and when you look at the way he is mentally is he a guy that's can handle this um I'm sure the answer is yes. I mean, everyone's different, obviously. Um, I think the thing that's impressive about Nestor is, you know, sometimes I forget how young he is. You know, he's he's a young pitcher still, and he 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 has 
a veteran presence in a way he carries himself. He's he's confident. He's he's got that mound presence. Um, you know, he he brings something to that room. Um, you know, he's a, a calm and energy giver. He, you know, you see him coming in the room and. It's good to see him. You know, he brings something to the table outside of just the mound, and that's that's been nice. And just from an attitude, from a wanting the ball, from a pitch in any kind of situation, he's fearless, um, and that confidence serves him well. That's really hard. What is it about, like, say, his movement or like his deception that you think it works? Yeah, I mean. He, he does create deception, though, with, you know, sometimes it's with de different deliveries and um, different arm angles. Um, so it's it's a lot of different pitches from different slots, and he gives you a different look. Um, and it's different than what you see on a daily basis. Um, but then the ability to throw strikes with those pitches and, and command it ultimately is what allows you to have success up here, and, and he's done a good job of that.